Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hey everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and uh, thank you for uh, watching today. And I'd also like to thank Brian here for uh, being a great patient, demonstrating so that we can help other people. Um, figure things out a little bit quicker and get to the bottom of uh, certain diagnoses. So Brian's 59 years old and he came to us um, because he's been having some neck problems, some pain and tingling down this arm, a sensation of the whole arm being kind of like enveloped in plastic or uh, just altered sensation throughout the whole arm. He's also been having some axillary discomfort, some pain in the left scapula and that's been bothering him. He's also starting to develop some weakness in the left hand, but much more significant in the right. Um, tell me what kinds of things you're having a hard time doing these days with your hands. Oh, picking things up or holding anything. I can't button my shirt because I have to get somebody to help me to button it's my hands. I have no feeling in them. Yep, okay. So, um, going through the history where we talked about medication and, and uh, other medical conditions and all that stuff, we kind of cleared all those things and nothing unusual going on there. And so I, um, I also asked him, I said, are you having any problems with balance? And he said, yes, you're starting to have some kind of like incoordination, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I just stand still and all of a sudden I kind of get dizzy and kind of lose my balance. Right, right. So I'm going to jump right into the evaluation here and I'm going to talk to you about how I kind of like to put this in order. And like some of you already know, I, I always like to start with reflex testing. And so... I'm going to take his arm right here, I'm going to check C7, notice I stand back now, notice how brisk that is, so when you do a reflex test it's a quick hit and very very brisk, okay, now we're going to do C5, biceps, not so brisk, it's really suppressed actually, and C6, very suppressed, I don't even get anything there, we're going to go C7 on the left side, Relax that arm, let it drop right there. Okay, a little brisk there. Not too bad, not as bad as the left side. We're going to check C5. Very little. C6, really nothing. Okay. When I check his strength, go ahead and spread those fingers apart. His T1 is good. Let's do C8, circles like this. Hold really tight. Good on the left. Hold tight, really weak on the uh, right side. Let's do the wrist extension, C6, hold tight, hold tight, good. Biceps, C5, hold tight, good, hold tight, good. Now, don't let me push this arm toward your shoulder, okay? Quite weak there, don't let me push this one up. He's weak there also, so he's a little bit weak, C7 on both sides. My concern is that he's hyperreflexive at C7, so the next thing I do is I always check the lower extremities, okay? So we go to L4, check that out, and notice the bouncing after he's done, okay? Oops, I hit his patella in just a second. There we go. Very, very brisk. I do S1, same thing here, very brisk. So. Because he's hyperreflexive, both upper and lower, the next thing I'm going to do, and this is the routine I do every time with patients who have this kind of presentation, we're going to do a Hoffman's test. I need you to relax that arm, really relax it, okay, let that hand go. Okay, and I'm going to support his middle finger, and I'm going to flick the end really aggressively. I need you to relax your, your arm, right there, there you go, good. Notice the thumb and forefinger come together. Okay, we're going to do this side, and if you take a look right here, so I have a positive Hoffman's on both sides, hyperreflexive, positive Hoffman's. I'm going to do a Babinski now, and I really don't get any splaying or extension of the big toe, and then next I'll do a, a test to see if he has any clonus. Okay, so he does have clonus that lasts, you know, a couple of seconds. Check out this side. Okay, it continues and continues, oh, and it just stopped. 
Okay, so we're getting clonus here. So, positive Hoffman's hyperreflexia, upper extremities, hyperreflexia, lower extremities, positive clonus. We need to be really suspicious that he's probably having some central uh, cervical spine stenosis. And um, we're going to communicate with a neurosurgeon, take a look at his MRIs and see how much uh, he is enclosed. That could cause some long-term problems, especially with his um, in coordination and loss of strength in his hands and fingers. So um, that is the game plan for now. We're going to try to optimize his neck mobility. Might even do some really gentle traction um, just to take a load off his uh, cervical facets. Um, but other than that, I think right now neurosurgical consult is uh, imperative. So uh, if you have any questions, go to our website and uh, leave some comments and we can have a discussion or even on YouTube, um, leave some comments and uh, we can uh, discuss uh, Brian a little further. Thanks. We hope you've enjoyed this video and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.